السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله واحد الأهد الفرد صمد الذي لم يلد ولم يلد ولم يكن له كفوا أهد والصلاة والسلام العتمان الأكملان على خي خلقه أجمعين وبعد وبريزن تنك الله سبحانه وتعالى إنا ونبور إن إسلام عبد الرزاق لسنة الشيخ عبد الرحمن منصري بلنتي بيبول يقول مي ممرازي Alhamdulillah, we are on our 15th episode of our series, Ramadan Bootscamp. In this 15th episode, the discourse on the guide on itikaf. We know, as we are on the 19th day of fasting in the month of Ramadan, some of we don't feel exhausted. But let's not forget Almighty Allah, He tells you in the Quran, for say, Ayyaman ma'adudat. The days they will fast for in Ramadan, not just limited small number of days so if we do on the 19th day it means we get few more days forget forget especially if we target now 29 or 30 days as it can be every year it might be 29 or 30 days so if we don't clock 19 it means 11 for we 11 or 10 more days the almighty i'll accept them for we now that we don't go so far from fasting the last days them inside this month then so precious so as a result a special act of worship day where the prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam be the engage in sefpa where they call etikaf for they make the most in the last days they get an english proverb we say the best you think you've done is not enough any time where you don't do something so much when i like good work or an activity if they feel too good of your effort where you don't do it, they make you relax. But if you they feel like you don't do so much it, this can give you extra energy for the last part of the race. And this attitude, this kind of orientation, mindset, now we forget for the month of Ramadan. As we come towards the last 10 days, the Prophet began this act of worship when they call it a calf. Well, somebody go out for us, creating an it a calf. It a calf basically in arabic now for let somebody seclude himself you choose for stay some side but in the context of the sharia now for let somebody retreat somebody reside in the masjid for only for worship allah you stay away from dunya activity worldly um, 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 distraction then you choose for give quality time to allah and with this you be able for do more of pondering. Somebody go on for ask, waiting at the ruling of it, 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 As far as the ruling is concerned, Almighty Allah says in Surah Al-Baqarah, وَأَنْتُمْ آقِفُونَ فِي الْمَسَاجِدِ Almighty Allah reference this concept of residing or retreating to the masjid in the Quran. And we get two ayats them in the same Surah Al-Baqarah, we talk about one day, we talk about Ibrahim alayhi salam in Pekin, when they retreat to the masjid. Then this other one, Almighty Allah, the address, the ayat they were addressed for fasting. Few ayat them will come after Almighty Allah talk about for say a man, not for meet with his wife, during that time where you seclude yourself in the masjid. So you see the idea. The idea is you cut down to the worldly activities like your relationship with your wife. Even though in Ramadan, during the night of Ramadan, a okay for a man meet with his wife. Because Almighty Allah say, Oh, hilal lakum, layla tasuyam, e halal. For a man who is married, he meets with his wife in the month of Ramadan. But for make the most in the last time, 10 nights, he better with somebody they retreat in the masjid. We get the hadith of Nena Aisha and how we tell we for say, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa when the month of Ramadan be the rich, Prophet be the retreat in the masjid. He be the spend the last 10 nights in the masjid. Somebody go on for ask. If somebody choose for day in the masjid, what is the significance of this? The significance of this, even though now a very strong sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, because prophets be doam, we begin for doam, doam, they die, and wife then doam, they then self die. And it's sad for say, this na a lost or an abandoned sunnah today in the world. But this na sunnah we prophets been do, and we self for say our best we revive this sunnah. Alhamdulillah, me done doam, doam few times in my life. And the plan for continue for the one being light Allah. So just one for motivate one and all for let we know say 
this na sunnah we perfect do and we as muslims for strive that we do and i know but big shakes then are the one where they do this sunnah and we don't check people and big people and at this we country we also they engage by this sunnah so somebody go ask what is the significance the importance of doing a itikaf in the masjid it they help you forget so close to allah you know usually what they do at the masjid would they think more about god would they would they be motivated for the act of worship would they get less um distractions television or they they and even your phone you know they do on them so much and because picking on them for disturb or other neighbor them or party for say they can't find you so they will forget quality time for do read quran for look the meaning of the quran for they make a dhikr for do salah a bit tarawi or a bit tahajjud plenty act of worship but the main reason we make somebody for do a take up the main significance is they give you greater chance for get Laylatul Qadr. You know the last 10 days we they look for Laylatul Qadr. If you really want to get Laylatul Qadr, you desperate for get Laylatul Qadr. Just go in for a itikaf. Because in a itikaf, you did in the masjid. So even if you week day week, you must do act of worship. Somebody go and ask Uda for perform a itikaf. For me, can very short. A man can perform a itikaf, and a woman can perform a itikaf as long as they don't match up. They know good from bad, from the Muslims. We get the conditions where the scholars they set. But a man can do a itikaf, and a woman can do a itikaf. However, the scholars they also advise it. If the place where for do the itikaf, now like a masjid where no get safe place for women them. Then it better for lady woman they not do a itikaf in the side and there. But all notes. Now I make usually okay advice when we build we must jid them, we need to forget this in mind. For say maybe people and go one for do a itikaf in we must jid and we forget place this. And what do we mean by this? Place there for woman then at the masjid and place there for the man then. The masjid then can get bathroom them. So they no one will perform a itikaf in a place beside the man and the woman and they did the same place. The woman then for the place. We is separate from the man them so that they don't go jam when they sleep. Because shaitan is a big enemy to the mortal man. Who say for perform a itikaf? The, with regards to the place where for perform a itikaf, already we see in the ayah in Surah Al-Baqarah where Allah say, Wa antum akifuna fil masajid. The masajid is the plural of masjid. So Almighty Allah specifies say, na must for perform a itikaf. And this is the ruling of majority of the scholars of Islam. So now I make a woman, if you want to perform a itikaf, you know go do my house, even though the woman is best prayer in her house, but if the woman want to do a itikaf, this act of worship, he need to move from the house and go to the masjid. So the same thing for the man them, the masjid. But when it comes to the masjid again, because we can get places there outside people and they pray, where necessarily they're not can call a masjid a place no more where people and they pray some prayers them. So now any kind place, the scholars then get two opinions. Some of the scholars then say, now a place outside and they pray the five daily prayer. The other scholars then say they include in that and they say therefore pray Jumu'ah na the masjid. The main reason we make the scholars then they then they tighten when it comes to these rulings of a etikaf, the person where they perform a etikaf enough for left the masjid. The moment the entire body pull your foot, if you want foot come on at the masjid, but your body still there is a problem no day. But the moment your entire body come on at the masjid out of necessity, not to need. Not to impo emergency situation, you don't point your etikaf. As long as you don't go inside for etikaf, you know for left they accept if na emergency or if na something very important we na need. So na I make them want the masjid na they na the place where for do the etikaf. So you five daily prayer you go able for do am day easily. Now that. We we'll don't mention for say a man and a woman to perform a itikaf. And we we'll also don't mention for say if somebody they perform a itikaf, you know for command at the masjid. And we we'll don't mention say the place for do the itikaf na the masjid. What if a woman they in a itikaf? Then this woman experience immenses. We know woman them at some point during the month, then she experience what we call nifas when a menses. Automatically they tell the woman they experience immenses according to the sound opinion from some of the scholars. The woman for left the masjid and return her house. Almighty Allah, they pay 
for the days them already we don't keep we don't take for do the eight half. But again, other opinion there from other scholars then because when it comes to the aspect of where the woman is immenses, we we'll get two opinions. Some scholars then say if the woman don't see immenses, it for them the masjid. Other scholars then they will all opinion for say as long as he able for control the blood. We guys now we get to what we call um the the part of the woman in the use they say problem not the kingdom at the masjid, just that in need for avoid other forms of worship. But the sound opinion, it better let the woman left the masjid. The days then we don't take for worship Allah in the itikaf, Almighty Allah the give the reward. In the Malamalu, Biniya, Allah the give reward based on the intention where somebody gets. When if somebody wants to go to itikaf, when the person for going at the masjid, and when the itikaf they end. When it comes to the Tewedi person, the Gona the Masjid for start the Etikaf, this he can start on the 20th day of Ramadan. Meaning, since today now the 19th day of Ramadan, tomorrow when at the 20th day, even them, you will plan for do Etikaf. You can take your things them, the things the way you need for do Etikaf for day inside the Masjid. When are you basic necessity, your phone, maybe you close them, support toothbrush and paste or whatever. All them basic things the way you need. If you don't move with them at the masjid before the sun is set, meaning before you cut fast tomorrow, when at the 19th day of Ramadan. And when what we mean by this, if you don't day inside the mosque where they do the etikaf before the 21st night of Ramadan they start. And we know in Islam, next they come before the day. So because tomorrow at the 20th day of Ramadan, and tomorrow night, the even term of tomorrow, now in the day, next, that next day, if you don't day inside the mosque. Where they perform the eight takeoff, where we they count the 21st night of Ramadan, you for don't day inside the mosque, where they perform the takeoff before you the breakfast. This is not the sound opinion from scholars. Other scholars then get a different opinion in this regard. But it's safe, they inside the mosque before the sun is set, before you break your fast. Now, somebody go on when the takeoff they done. If the Ramadan lasts for 29 days, then of course, the day where then they announce it, tomorrow and pre day. That even 10 day, the moment Maghrib enter, you can return at your house. But he recommended, if you still then at your masjid where you do the eight takeoff, then you move from there, you wash, you dress, you go pray, pray there. After the praying field, you just can come to your house. This is a mustahab, this is more recommended. But problem no the moment where they don't know, say, tomorrow and pray day, even if the Ramadan, it lasts for 30 days, where you don't know, today even 10, with, as the moment you don't cut fast, you can return at your house if you want to return. Hope say be the light Allah this is useful for we. So I want for all you miss if you know already listen the episode. If you don't want to do a take in your life, now for try it is some lazy italic. But if you start um, again, if you don't do um, at some point in your life, if I will revive in this and um, practice, perfect to do am um, tea die and you have them in do um. because of it's so important that I make it do um, and we need for revived this one now. Deal with me for another episode tomorrow in Ramadan Bootcamp series. My brothers and sisters, it's your brother Omar Isa here. What hundreds of high quality produced Islamic reminders from Halal Informer Network. Drama learning videos, Quran learning videos, updates of Islamic events in Sierra Leone, stories of the prophets, may peace be upon them all, and much more. Two new video uploads weekly, inshallah. Halal Promo Network is 100% run and owned by Muslims in Sierra Leone. Which means a small amount you pay for your subscription is a sadaqa jariya, continuous charity for you. As we use the funds raised to continue producing more beneficial videos and reminders, inshallah. Watch or listen to lectures and lessons while you work, rest, or drive. Help Halal Promo Network to build the first Islamic TV station in Sierra Leone, inshallah. May Allah reward you for supporting our work. Assalamu alaikum.